It was highly embarrassing. Highly embarrassing. What was supposed to be a quick trip to the bank for Paul McCowns turned into what he calls a nightmare, all because he tried to cash his paycheck. I got a new job. Um, I worked there for about three weeks. It was the first check from the new job. McCown says he went to this Huntington branch on Bidoff Avenue in Brooklyn on December 1st to cash it. She says you need two forms of ID. I said, okay, because I'm not a client at Huntington. McCown says he provided both his license and social security card. He also gave his fingerprint, which is bank policy. Then he says multiple tellers started challenging the transaction. They tried to call my employer numerous of times. Never, he never picked up the phone. The paycheck for roughly $1,000 was handed back to McCown's. Tellers said they wouldn't cash it, so he left. I get in my truck. And, of course, you know, the squad car pulled in front of me. He said, get out the car. Instead of just letting McCowns go on his way, the teller calls Brooklyn police on him. He's trying to catch his check, and the check is fraudulent. He does not match our records. Does he know you called 911? No. But the person who made that phone call, that manager, that teller, whoever made that phone call, I feel as though that they were judging. Minutes after being handcuffed and put in the back of a cop car, police confirmed the check is real. McCown says he believes bank employees profiled him. My employers say yes, he works for me. He just started, um, and yes, my payroll company does pay him that much. McCown says he cashed that check the next day at another Huntington location with no problems. We reached out to the bank. They tell us there's increased fraud in Brooklyn with 11 cases at this branch in just the last few months. A rep says the tellers were being hyper vigilant. Brooklyn police tell Cleveland 19 there was no fraud with McCown's case. What response are you hoping to get from them? I mainly want them, I want an apology, a sincere apology. Huntington tells me they did reach out to McCowns, but they say he's not returning their calls. They say they should have confirmed with McCowns' employers before calling police. McCown says he wants the bank to change their protocol for non-customers and hopes no one else is treated the way he says he was. It hurts. It really hurts.